What up, what up, y'all? Tim Z here, back at it again, like you can always expect. You know what I mean? And today, you know how I was talking about getting new hardware, requesting new hardware from Zero Tolerance? Well, I did that, and it came in a long time ago, actually, but I didn't find the time to start recording. So let's get into it right now. See, has worn black finish on the screws and on the pocket clip. I did request, um, which one did I request? Pivot. It, it, it didn't need it though, but uh, they said that cost extra. So I said, forget about that. And also um, the backspacers, um, th those are cost extra also since they consider them premium parts. So I was like, all right, you know what? I'm skipping those. So let's get right into this. Um, I did get a new uh, stop pin, but it's not black. And um, the rest of the hardware is black. So I'm just gonna leave that in there and it's only a little worn, okay? So let's unscrew these little screws on the side. All right. Let's put them all right here. I don't want them rolling around. All right, unscrew, unscrew. There you go. Maybe the best thing to do here would be to do one at a time so I don't, like, the knife doesn't fall apart. You know, let me see. Wow, that's pretty tight over there. All right, it's spinning in place. As you can see, so I'm gonna need something to stop it. Is the fingernail enough? It is not enough. All right. All right, I could just squeeze the scale together, guys, and uh, it'll hold it. Um, here, let me carefully set this on the side because I don't want it to roll off. And uh, let's see what's included here, all right? All of these parts are for free. That's why this company is a good one to get knives from. Okay, so you got two big ones here, which should be for the pocket clip. And you got six uh, small ones, which is gonna be for the backspacers. So let's go right in, put that in, okay? And um, usually you can use some Loctite if you like, but I'm not going to because I don't think these will get loose. And uh, if I ever have to um, do this again, I don't want to have to, you know, break free Loctite. All right. All right, guys. So as you can see, I'm spinning it around and one part is more worn than the other. I'm going to try to line it up so that the worn part is not showing through the back. All right, that's just a little trick. It's for aesthetics, but maybe aesthetics is everything here. I don't know. It's up to you guys. All right, I'm tightening it. That is tight. Is it lined up? Yep. And there's also no wear showing anywhere on that. So let's confirm that. Um, all right, we're good. Guys, that's good, all right? Let's see if this second one comes off easily. Oh, where did my, my old screws go? All right, that's an old one. I wanna make sure all the old ones stay next to each other because I don't want them to get mixed up and uh, I don't wanna accidentally install an old one with the new ones, you know what I'm saying? So I'm squeezing the scale together, see if this works breaking free. Oh, shit. All right, um, oh, this one I can't really squeeze because this is on the end, I mean, in the middle. Um, damn it. It's kind of loose though, it feels loose, so try to finger now, and that worked. Guys, you just have to try something new when something doesn't work, okay? And usually you'll find a way. All right, new screw going in, tightening that. 
Um, I believe I didn't tell you guys the size of the drivers yet. Um, this one is a Torx T8. And the pocket clip is a, a Torx T10, all right? Look, this one's kind of dirty here, I think. Oh, that that, that is dust. And so that's not really... Um, That's not wear, that's dust. All right, so um, this one's not really worn, so I'm not really concerned about the orientation of that screw. Just tighten the other side in, uh, get that tight. Looks like that one's okay, no matter what position it's gonna be in, cause it's not worn really, which is good. Yeah, guys, it's already starting to look better with the new screws. You can see right there, that's an old screw, and then there's are the new screws. All right. Loosen, 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 all right? I bet there will be a day when these parts are no longer provided for free because I think those backspacers in the past would have been for free too, but... um. You know, things are getting more and more expensive out there. So they cannot provide every single part for free. I mean, it's pretty generous that they give the, these uh, screws for free. They don't even verify your warranty or anything. You can literally re request these parts and not even own the knife. But don't do that. Um, yeah. It, it's probably cheaper for them to send these parts out instead of re do spending all the time and labor to confirm everyone's warranty. You know, that takes time. So they probably don't want to deal with that. Let's get, let's see uh, this backspacer. I want to turn this backspacer around because this one is not in great condition. But for some reason, this one's not wanting to spin. Let me go back in there with the screw. Oh shit. The camera got bumped. Um, damn, all right, this one's not wanting to spin, okay, guys? Um, I don't really got a tool here to spin this thing around with either. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to spin this one. And my wife keeps banging into the camera, so sorry about that, guys. If you're getting seasickness or motion sickness, I'm sorry. All right, I'm going to put the screw back in because I'm not going to be able to turn that one without disassembling this knife. So I'm just going to leave it, all right? I know, I know. It's but whatever. This knife is a user anyway. That's how I got it in used condition. So it's not that big of a deal. Now let's do, you see those three screws? Three screws looks much better, but now it's time to get to the real moment of truth here, which is really the pocket clip, which is the most worn thing on here, okay? T10s, um, it's spinning. Um, Hopefully, I don't need to bust out another driver to do this. Damn it. Right. This thing is... Okay. Looking like I do not need to bust out a driver for this. Let's see if the pocket clip pulls. Oh, shit. All right. Probably need to remove that backspacer. Um, oh, man. I hope I don't have to disassemble, uh, disassemble everything to get that backspacer out. That would be a pain in the ass. All right. Here's the one... Old, the old pocket clip screw from one side and now it's looking like I might need to disassemble completely damn it all right um I could bend the clip backwards let me think I bend the clip backwards the screw would come out the stop pin, I mean, the pin will stay there. So this is an old clip. Let me see if I can even do that. 
the threads are pretty long on that one, so I'm not really sure actually. Actually, I'm not sure this is gonna work, but we can try, right? So it's gonna be hard to turn this around because it is recessed. This might be stupid. What I'm doing right now I might break the knife. Um, I know, guys. Pop right there's the screw. See, there you go. It popped back in. It wanted to pop back in. And I probably should really disassemble this fully, as you can see. But uh, let me see if this backspacer will come out. Backspacer slides out. All right. There's the pocket clip. Guys, forgive me. This is my first time doing this shit for this pocket clip. All right. Now, let's see. Where's that backspacer? All right, the backspacer is right there. See, it's recessed. And where's the new screw? You drop right through the hole. Yeah, it will. All right, let's do this. Oh, my bad. See, I told you, this is my first time doing this. Do not rip me unless you want to, which I don't care if you do. But, uh, yeah. This is what happens when you try to take shortcuts, all right? Sometimes shortcuts end up taking longer, which is, you guys should know about that already. All right, you know what? Since I'm doing shortcuts anyway, I'm going to back off the screw on the end. I know I'm going through a lot of steps to do this shortcut which is not really ending up to be a shortcut. But it's okay. Backing off some screws. Hopefully it gives some flex. I'm not sure if it will. The scale is flexing a little, which is a good sign, I guess, in this case. All right, there. Dropped in, and um, let's tighten these screws again, okay? Okay, all three screws are re-tightened just to do that shortcut, but you see the oh. Damn it, it popped out again because I'm talking and I have to loosen it back up. Everything's back in, okay? Now, since I do not want it to slip back out again, I'm gonna switch my driver and lock in that bolt, I mean, the pocket clip. I'm not trying to make this one spin again, you know what I mean? I want this one to be locked in. 
so it cannot go anywhere. We're locking in the pocket clip so it cannot spin anymore. Let's try to get the part where it's not showing wear. Um, okay, that's a roughly wear. All right, it's just spinning still. It would be easier to have another set here, but I don't have it on me. All right. All right, we're just gonna go with that for now. I'll get tighten it later. guys and that's all of them here's look at the ball this is the ball bearings that they use they in plastic uh, plastic cage um these are cheap bearings you know but whatever this part is uh new i'll keep it in here these other screws are used but I guess I won't throw them away because some other knife in the future might need these screws. All right. Um, pocket clip. I really want to toss this in the trash. I really do. Um, I don't know if I'll toss it yet. All right. guys does it look better got all new screws showing less wear looks much better from this side pocket clip looks new backspacer I mean it's not that big of a deal all right Yeah, guys, that's really all for today for this knife. Um, took much longer than I expected it to because I was trying to do a shortcut, but it's okay. It looks good. If you guys want to know what driver I'm using, it's the Tech 10 Every Bit or whatever it's called. You know. Yeah. All right, guys, if you want to see more, you can follow me on Instagram, TimZUSA. Subscribe, like this video if it was helpful at all, or if you guys like the shortcut I took. Until next time, Tim Z out.